Today we're comparing three players cavity iron for 2021. The Wilson Staff Model CV, the Strixon ZX7, and the Cobra King Tour MIM irons. All three have been highly demanded in uh, our comment sections. We're going to test them out with TrackMan and tell you how they do. The spin consistency on those first three shots is incredible. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here at the Second Swing at Minnetonka Tour Van. Uh, with another golf club comparison for you today. We've got three players cavity irons for 2021. Uh, all three have been kind of uh, very popular in comment sections on our YouTube page from our viewers. Um, so we're gonna test them all out today. Not maybe your uh, most popular brands out there, but all three brands put together some remarkable golf clubs. So uh, Wilson Staff C Model CB, uh, the Shrixon ZX7, and the Cobra King Tour MIM irons. So all three, again, very uh, highly respected by our audience. So we thought we'd compare them here. Uh, so Thomas, we've done kind of maybe initial testing with all three of these before, but now we're going to kind of use TrackMan to go sort of head to head. Uh, what do you think we're going to see today? Yeah, I mean, I'll add, I've been fitting these irons quite a lot too, and they've been performing really, really well for different reasons. One of these models, you'll notice the spin rate is going to be quite a bit lower than the others. One will spin a little bit more, and one will kind of be in the middle. But they have performed really well in the fitting bay in the last couple months, and I'm excited to showcase the differences on these. They're really like sleepers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, I guess that'd be a great term for them. So um, just to kind of clarify here in terms of the shaft and the test um, format, what are we going to do today? Yeah, so we'll hit probably seven or eight shots with each club here. Um, we've only got three club heads, so we can maybe hit a little bit more here today. But we've got the Nippon Modus 120S golf shaft that we're able to test the same weight with regards to the, the golf shaft here as we're testing them all. Um, so there, there's little subtle differences in Lion Golf. I believe uh, Cobra is about half degrees more upright than the other two. Now these are all the standard heads and standard loft. As I mentioned, there's some loft differences. The Strixon ZX7's got 32 degrees of loft on it. The Cobra King Mim Tours got 33. And then we've got the uh, Wilson Staff CB, that's got 34 degrees of loft. So there's a little bit differences there, but Otherwise, they're going to be very similar cavity back irons that demand what the golfer expects out of the golf club. Absolutely. Well, Thomas, you, uh, you warmed up and ready to hit some shots here? Let's do it. Okay, so Thomas, Cobra King Tour. Uh, first, give me your impression on how the club looks and how it felt. Yeah, I think, you know, it's got a nice thin top line. It, you know, it's definitely a cavity back. It's, you know, definitely not a blade. It's definitely not game improvement. It's definitely right in the, in the middle. Forgiveness is pretty good with it. Um, felt incredibly soft. Mm -hmm. It's not forged. And that's the one thing that kind of is interesting to me is knowing that, it's, that the different construction, the way it's built, yeah. but it feels really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that MIM construction from Cobra. I think they're kind of, you know, really making that a staple of their golf clubs now. They, had, they kind of started the wedges, right? They had the MIM wedges moved into the irons and it's sort of, it's not forged, it's their different method of uh, precisely building the club shape. And the result, at least for you in this test, seems to be extremely soft feel. Um, and then on top of that, we can talk about how consistent the spin was for a majority of the shots. So there was one that you kind of tugged, we took out, so we're gonna yep. hit, you know, we're hitting eight shots, kind of counting seven for the comparison. Uh, but look how close the spin is for basically every shot you got high 5500s or 5600s for basically all of them except for your last one there. So uh, yeah. really the, impressive stuff from Cobra. Yeah, those first five shots in a row that I hit, I mean, the lowest I think is 55, 65, and the highest was 56, 85? I think so. So, I mean, the plus or minus number there, consistency number is gonna stand out. Mm -hmm. I, it's gonna be hard to beat with regards to spin consistency right. as we kind of test the others there too, but that was, that was really impressive. And this iron's done pretty well in other testing with mm -hmm. our cavity back iron testing in the past there as well. Feels good, feels incredibly soft off the face. Nice and consistent with that spin rate, can't mm -hmm. go wrong. All right, well now let's move on to Wilson Staff Model CB. Okay. So Thomas, sometimes we play a little game here where I make you guess the spin number. Um, you know, spin on the last one average was 56, 58. You got the Wilson Staff CB model. Uh, what do you think spin will be here on average? I'm gonna purely go off the loft difference, knowing there's one degrees more loft. I'm gonna go average spin, 6,000. 6,000, okay. 6,000, the average spin. So. All right, all right, yeah. we'll see, we'll see. Uh, if it's exactly 6,000, I'll give you 100 bucks. All right, I'm, you're, you're in control of the, of the outlier, so I'm think, I That's think I'm pretty safe. That's <laughs> true, I have control of which, which uh, shots we count here, so 
Maybe I'll uh, use that to my advantage. All right, so Thomas Wilson staff model CB, we've got seven of the eight shots up. Um, first of all, club speed very comparable here, but uh, first wanted to get, you got both clubs in your hand now. I wanted to get your uh, opinion on look and feel of the two irons. Because um, I, when I set them down before the test began, I noticed some differences myself, so I wanted to see what your thoughts are. Yeah, so first off, the uh, Wilson Staff Model CB is a little bit more compact. So from heel to toe, what I'm looking mm -hmm. at, you can see like it's a little bit more compact and maybe just a little bit more taller as well. Um, but otherwise, I mean, yeah, you can definitely see it's a little smaller club head. And maybe I didn't hit, had a couple of misses with this one here too, but yeah. even still, it was still pretty forgiving overall. I think the King Tour was just a little bit more forgiving and maybe a little bit more consistent, but this was actually pretty good. I, I was yeah. pretty impressed. Yeah, I think I would also note that I thought the, the Cobra uh, King Tour top line was much smaller than the Wilson one, but uh, numbers wise, you know, I think what we kind of, I know you expected the spin to be around 6,000, yep. not quite, um, but part of that could be just a little bit more of a draw maybe than you expected, but. Uh, interesting how comparable these numbers are. I mean, in terms of ball speed, is the same exactly, pretty much. Uh, spin is slight difference, and that's probably resulting in a little bit lower carry distance. But interesting there. Uh, you know, a pretty good performing iron too, because I know you were impressed with the forgiveness in the Wilson Staff model as well. Yeah, I would say even though the ball speeds the exact same, pretty much with both of them, knowing there's one degree of less less loft with the King Tour, you maybe expect a little more ball speed, mm -hmm. but you'll notice the consistency with the King Tour. Notice the consistency number there if you go back to the ball yeah. speed. Mm -hmm. Notice plus or minus 1.1 with that consistency versus plus or minus 2.4. So I had a couple on here that I jumped on a little bit and a couple that I didn't quite catch is solid, which kind of made the average a little bit kind of closer to this. But a yeah. little bit more consistent, a little bit more forgiving. CB staff models, you know, maybe slightly more towards the, the top end of a player's, player's iron. Okay. Well, this has just got a touch more forgiveness. That's okay. kind of all I kind of noticed there. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Well, we got one left here, Shrixon ZX7. We'll try that one. Okay, sounds good. Pretty impressive. Wow. Well, <laughs> Thomas predicted 5,200. RPM a spin with the Shrixon ZX7. After eight shots, I'm going to break this down. 5202 uh, average spin. So now we haven't <laughs> done our take a shot out yet. So yeah. um, I'll let you do that one. Yeah. I mean, it, it's going to change things, but yeah. eight shots and you got literally two RPM off of your guess. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty impressive there. Um, and it's just purely the loft on the golf club, knowing there's 32 degrees of loft. Yeah. And the spin rate when I was hitting the um, Cobra iron, mm -hmm. that was around about 55, 5600. Yeah. I guess 6000 with the, with the Wilson CB. I was drawing that a little bit more, so that's why the spin rate is just a little bit lower than that 6000 6, guess. Yeah. But then I hit some good shots here, and we were kind of right around yeah. 5200. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's. That's impressive. I think yep. I'm just looking at the spin here to see which one is maybe the the most uh, I'll say the maybe the one that's outlier. far right. That, this that far was, right one's yeah. the one that jumps out at me. That was, take away, it, so. it's kind of it's interesting there too because that shot was obviously clearly far right. Yeah. It's a bad swing. I was obviously pointing that way instantly, but the spin rate on that shot was only 5500. Right. And we and mentioned that's actually lower, that's lower than the average with all the others. So, so. let me ask you this then. So now, we, well, first, let me get your opinion on how that club looks and feels. Because um, I, I noticed a louder sound with that one compared to the other two. Yeah, so from heel to toe, it's the largest profile. So from heel to toe, I, it definitely seems like it's a little bit longer club. But it seems maybe a little more narrower from the bottom to the top of the okay. club head. I mean, the top lines, honestly, they're all fairly similar. I think that the Cobra Tor King Tour was just ever so slightly thinner. but. Okay. You know, they're all pretty similar for a good top line player that does take more turf with their irons, and it will really help keep that spin rate down. Mm -hmm. With me being more of a picker, we notice my spin rate 5,200. It's still kind of a little on the, on the lower side for a, for a seven iron. Yeah. I'm getting back to normal. I'm close to 6,000 with 34 degree iron. But yeah, that would definitely help out the players with turf for inter interaction as well. Yeah, so 
interesting that you mentioned that because that is a big component of the Strixon irons, that, that uh, VT sole where it's, they kind of have it tiered a little bit there to help with the, golf, the golfers that do kind of have that steep attack angle. So I did want to ask you about the spin rate in the loft. So you mentioned in the beginning of the video, you said, you know, one of these clubs spins lower than the others. Um, was that solely based off loft or were you maybe seeing in fittings and testing this year that, oh, this is actually a much lower spinning iron head regardless of loft um, than others? I mean, even the Z785 was a little bit lower spinning than other models. And I, and I think we did like a cavity back, ultimate cavity back test mm -hmm. back in 2019. I was like, this is like a spin killer. Yeah. And I rolled that kind of in the notes and it kind of has been. So it's always been kind of a little on the, on the lower side with regards to spin. Loft is the biggest influence. Yeah. I mean, you've got a club that's got less loft on it. The golf shaft's the same length. It's going to spin less. It's just loft. It's just physics. It's pure physics. The less mm -hmm. loft you have on a golf club, the less spin you are going to get. And that's the same with any club. The same with driver and same with kind of with wedges. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, Thomas, we can take a look at all this data now. I've got the map and the numbers up. Um, I'll kind of let you sort of run through and explain things, but I just see this trend here on the map of kind of shorter but kind of a little bit more to the left um, where the Cobra King Tour was sort of right in the middle, right? You had the Wilson Staff Model CB shorter and kind of more left and then a little bit more maybe of a right bias um, with the Strixon ZX7 if we kind of factor in especially that miss, yep. but certainly longer and a little bit wider oval as well. I mean, when I'm looking at this screen here, I'm looking at those six white dots that are really close to each other yeah. right there. So, that, I mean, if you're talking about dispersion comparison, yeah, well, yeah, six of the eight were, I mean, you can't get closer than that. That's, we're talking within, so those lines are separated by about five yards. Yeah. So, so you've got six, these six shots right here are within, I think if you total everything out, probably within 15, 20 feet of each other. Yeah, they're I mean, within 15 feet of each other. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> 15, 20, uh, sorry. Probably 25 feet at the absolute most. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that for me definitely stands out. Um, the left shot with the cavity back is probably a little bit more workable. So the Wilson CB. Mm -hmm. um, I like to play a little bit of a draw. So that partly could be the reason why I was just drawing a little bit more. I mentioned earlier the lion angle. The lion angle actually is a little bit flatter with the Wilson, but I did actually draw it just a little bit more there too, which is kind of a little surprising. While the Culver is 62 and a half. And then you got the Wilson CB was 62, and then the Strixon is also 62 with the line angle. But yeah, it's kind of interesting there. You can kind of see that, yeah, it's fairly straight. I mean, the, any time a ball goes further with, it's going to be a larger dispersion pattern. Right. So you can see the Strixon a little bit larger there. A uh, couple of bad swings in there as well. But mm -hmm. generally, you're going to see the differences in numbers with regards to distance. Dispersion, that's obviously that's user error. Right. Yep. Um, then we can look at, I mean, here's all the data. Um, so anything that jumps out at you immediately. Uh, I know your rule of thumb in terms of the loft is, I think it's, you say about three yards of carry, roughly three to four yep. yards of carry per degree of loft. So um, you can see that relatively a pretty solid uh, comparison there with the Staff Model CB Tour MIM, right? But then you see kind of a bigger jump um, to the ZX7. I think that could be partly because of how low spinning that iron head is. Yeah, it was definitely quite a bit low spin and that's why it was just carrying just a little bit further. I think my club speed, yeah, club speed actually was the slowest with the Shrek's on, but even though the spin rate was obviously still less, it's going to carry a little bit further there as well. For me, I noticed the height was kind of interesting there as well. The Shrek's on did also fly a little bit lower than mm -hmm. the other two. Uh, I think it was, yeah, so it was we're talking 10 to 14 feet in difference in height. So a little different trajectory there. So still plenty of stopping power with my speed. Yeah. So a 187 carry going 196, that thing is stopping within nine yards. But fitting a player with a lot slower swing speed that then that distance from that carry distance to the total distance may get a little bit further apart. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing to kind of keep an eye on. So rule of thumb, landing angle 45 degrees plus. With my club speed, it's always going to be a little bit more than that 45 degrees yeah. as I do. Just pay attention to that landing angle. When you're in a club fitting, for sure, landing angle for sure is going to be very, very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. And uh, I mean, yeah, otherwise, I think we saw a, a lot of what we expected to a degree, but uh, interesting that, you know, we these are, again, like you said, high performing models and fittings this year. Um, some popular options for golfers to come in you know, when they trade in an old set and get fit. These three have been, uh, as you said, baby sleepers uh, so far in 2021. So you want to get these on TrackMan and test them out. 
Uh, and I think they all performed really well. You know, I think Cobra maybe won the dispersion per se test. Um, you saw Wilson staff maybe win the workability there with the extra draw that you're able to generate. And then Shrixon in terms of maybe the lowest spin and then extra distance, of course, with the loft helping as well, was able to win, I guess, the distance um, category. So they all kind of have their respective uh, characteristics and you know advantages. But um, a pretty good test here, Thomas, and some good shots were hit. Yeah, it's important to work with a club fitter on your goals, whether that's distance, whether that's dispersion, whether that's spin, whether that's height. Really important to talk when we're, when we're starting a club fitting, tell the, the club fitter what you're trying to achieve out of space mm -hmm. fitting. Because we can fit you regardless of what, whatever iron we want to, want to get you into. But we want to know exactly what the player wants as well. Right. So at the end of the day, players hitting the golf shot. We don't want to just focus purely on numbers. At the end of the day, you know, player wins with regards to look and feel. Mm -hmm. But definitely tell your club fitter what you're looking for. Right, absolutely. That's the that most important part. You, we want to help the golfers achieve what they want to achieve out of their irons. So uh, we, of course, invite all golfers to come in, get fit, uh, whether it's in one of our five stores or you can talk to one of our uh, online fitters as well. We'll get you set up with a new iron set like one of these three models here. So, Thomas, thank you for hitting all the shots today. Uh, really great test. Not a problem.